only candidate to be Prime Minister is Nikol Pashinyan, who's led this uh, revolution, velvet revolution, as it's been called in Armenia, to be selected as new Prime Minister. He's led this uprising, these popular demonstrations, by saying there has to be change to Armenia's politics, to the corruption in Armenia, and to try and strengthen the economy. There needs to be a new politics. There was another mass demonstration on Monday here in the capital, and all eyes will be on the parliament today to see if this man, as a former journalist, a member of parliament himself, who's been jailed for a period of time uh, for dissenting, will he become the new prime minister? He set a series of ultimatums. He said he should be the prime minister because he has the support of the mass support of most people in Armenia. So we will see whether the majority of parliamentarians will support him. There are 105 people who will be voting in the parliament. There are still some rumors whether the Republican Party will cede power. Will they turn up? Will they vote? Will they support uh, Pashinyan to be the new prime minister? And there are concerns that it could lead to a new period of tension. But it, it is a watershed moment in Armenia's history, and there are expected to be tens of thousands of people again coming out on the streets here to pile on the pressure on the politicians to try and move Armenia forward.